How did your husband die? Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect either. I felt like the universe was bringing us together. We all got wolves in us, dear. You just have to make sure you feed the right one. This is me. This is who I am. First, I just want to say, like, thank you, because I have had a very stressful week, and then watching the screeners for this that they sent me just made me smile, and it's what oh, we all need. I mean, How many did you watch? Okay, so I'm three in, and so I've got some questions. What is going on? So episode one, I'm like, okay, I'm into this. The last two minutes of episode two, it's like, what the what the heck is happening right now? <laughs> yeah. Help, help, help me explain the show to our viewers. How well, would it's, it's, up? it's one of those shows that keeps pulling back the layers, and it's a love story unlike any other because it is done – mixing different tones and genres that you would never see usually in the same enterprise. Yeah. And there's something that is so exciting about that because in a time in which we feel like we've seen everything, everything. and we we have a thousand new pieces of content every day to read something that felt as fresh as this mm -hmm. and how to share something that feels as fr fresh as this is it's what we look for. It's what we hope for. Yep. I, and I'm I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out like how we tell what's going on without know, telling what's going on. We're sort of just speaking about you know the emotional baggage that our characters bring into the love okay. story and how that piece of acceptance and forgiveness of themselves and each other is what sort of connects them and how you know audiences will project their own baggage in watching our story and think about what they felt vulnerable to share with their partner when they fell in love or, you know, whatever relationship they have. Um, but for me, I love a love story. Um, I've always loved romance. I've written romance books when I was a kid and I've always sort of seen anything in this genre. So I was very excited by not just the sort of the, 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 the melding of different genres in this specific piece, but also in how these two human beings who really are so different find each other thanks to fate and circumstance and how they bring out such sweetness and vulnerability in each other and how they form this like motley family. The first episode you're hooked and then the second episode you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to need a drink and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's definitely an emotional roller coaster, And, and I think that that's the point. I think that what Abe does so brilliantly is he uses these larger than life metaphors to mm -hmm. yeah, tell yeah. very relatable stories, right? Love is complicated. Mm -hmm. Love is scary. Mm -hmm. And the prism by which he shows that is unlike anything you've ever seen before in a theme that people have explored for centuries, right? And right, because it's personal to Abe. I feel Correct. like yeah. there's an authenticity and um, and specificity to our characters because it comes from his heart. What has been one of the silver linings about getting back to work? Oh, great question. Oh, great question. Um, I, it was fun to do something for yourself again, mm -hmm. you know, not to just be sort of a chef and a teacher and a, 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 a bouncer and a, a, I don't know, a driver and just to actually be sort of in the creative realm and sort of go into your imagination and explore, you know, all the things that attracted us to our jobs in the first place. We got the opportunity to do them. You know, what's interesting is having been on a roller coaster of going nonstop for yeah, so long really and then have. stopping. I was able to fall in love with the craft again. That was really cool to mm -hmm. have so much time away from it. The most time I've ever had away from it, mm -hmm. it gave me an opportunity to appreciate it all again. That's awesome. Oh, well, you guys, you're such a pleasure. Thank you Aww. for this. Thank you.